Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today I'm very excited for this video because I have a collective haul for you guys. And I have been buying some beauty products for the last three to four weeks, I want to say. And I've just been stashing it away to have one big video for you guys. Some things I already used because I just couldn't wait. And other things I have not opened up or used or anything like that. So I'm very excited to share with you guys these things that I bought. So let's just jump right into it. So I'm going to go ahead and just start with what I quickly bought in Target. And I bought this Palmer's Cocoa Butter Skin Therapy Oil. And I've used this before and I ran out of it and I'm just bad when it comes to like replacing stuff. So I never replaced it but I really really enjoyed using this for the nice little memories that my kids left on my stomach throughout my pregnancies. Um, I feel like it did an amazing job clearing up my stomach um, in terms of like you know any dark areas that you may have and improving the um, stretch mark scars i think it was awesome this says it's good for scars for stretch marks for dry damaged skin uneven skin tone and aging skin so i definitely recommend this um for anyone who has any of those issues because i feel like it really works for me so hopefully it would work for you too so this was just a rebuy for me and this is what it looks like it smells so good i absolutely love it I put it all over my body really but my focus mainly is my stomach area so I picked that up the next thing I picked up at Target was this shampoo and conditioner right here and this is renewing argan oil of Morocco conditioner and shampoo um, from OGX pure I mean beauty pure and simple so it's a unique precious blend with argan oil of Morocco helps to penetrate the hair shaft discover newly restored strength shine softness and seductive silky perfection I've never tried this before I have never heard of it I was just looking for a new shampoo and conditioner and I've always been like a Tresemme girl but I wanted to try something new because I'm you know I was kind of bored with using the same products so I saw these and definitely the bottle intrigued me intrigued me and anything that says argan oil of Morocco I love because I love the scent of that so I saw a huge bottle that they have and I didn't pick up the huge bottle because like I said I've never tried this before so then I saw these mini ones and they were on sale for like seven dollars each and I went ahead and picked it up and I've, I've used this one time already and oh my god guys my hair was so silky smooth and shiny and just felt so amazing like I absolutely am in love with this product I'm so happy that I picked it up I will definitely be purchasing the huge bottle um, once I run out of the shampoo um, they have one that's like double the size and it has like a pump with it so I love shampoos that have the pump so I will definitely be repurchasing but I can't get enough of how amazing my hair felt when I initially washed it it was so silky and shiny and looked so healthy and I know it was the shampoo because I had I didn't use anything else in my hair and usually I always put like a leave-in conditioner when I'm gonna dry my hair and I didn't I didn't even put that and my hair was just amazing I was so happy and I am so in love with this with this stuff and I really recommend it if you're looking for something new to wash your hair with so picked this up at Target and they would talk it was on sale for like six something each and how much this brings 13 ounces so it's really not bad okay so at Target I also picked up this L'Oreal telescopic carbon black mascara and I picked this up just for lengthening purposes because you know I'm all about my urban decay perversion but um, I felt I feel like my lashes will look amazing with the length that this would give me and then the darkness and volume that the Urban Decay Perversion gives. Let me just go ahead and open this to show you guys the wands. Um, I've used this in the past, but I haven't used it in a long time. But I know it's really good for lengthening. It has this really skinny, skinny wand. And it just pulls your lashes really nice and long. So I am excited to try out that little combo with the Urban Decay and this one. And I also picked up these Demi Wispy Lashes from Ardell. I just picked up one pair because... I totally suck at putting lashes on but I really want to start practicing because there are times that I want to look a little bit more glam and I want to add some lashes to my look so I just picked one up just so I can start practicing a little bit more and I like the Demi Wispies because you know ever since I've heard about lashes and watched YouTube videos these are very natural and I even though I want to wear lashes I do want them to be natural looking as natural as they can look okay so now I'm gonna move on to Bath and Body Works. Okay, so I went to Bath and Body Works because I have 
been wanting to get like a nice little spray that I can just quickly you know put on myself because sometimes I'm home all day and you know it's winter time so the windows are closed and all the cooking and everything all the smells like just stay lingering in the house and lingering on your clothes and then I have to run out to run errands or pick up my daughter from school and I feel like you know I smell like food so I want to just quickly spritz myself with something to like refresh myself and I don't want like real perfume I just want you know like a nice pretty light scent that eventually is going to fade away so I wanted to go there and pick up a nice spray and I ended up picking buying the little bottles um, that have three ounces in them and they're three for twelve bucks and I couldn't decide between warm vanilla sugar and this scent called a thousand wishes this is the warm vanilla sugar and this is a thousand wishes this one you know I like warm scents nothing too like alcoholy smelling or tangy I like things that are like more warm and like I don't know sugary I guess chamomile smells stuff like that this smells divine like oh my goodness I, w I went with a friend of mine and she also ended up buying it as well and she told me that everyone loves the scent when they when they smell it on her absolutely love it again it's a thousand wishes and this one is warm vanilla sugar it's definitely more on the you know sweet side so they're de they definitely smell different but I love them just as much I can't wait to start wearing it I haven't spritzed them any of them yet but I'm excited to start using it and I wanted to buy this size initially I was just gonna get the big size to this one that's like $14 but then I went out while I was on the line I saw these little ones and I was like you know what let me get the little ones because that way I can get both scents and I can also keep one in my purse and then keep the rest at home and it's more convenient because if I'm out maybe I want to spritz myself up while I'm out so that's why I picked up these little ones and also my main reason of going was that I really been wanting to get a nice shower gel because my absolute favorite time of the day is taking my bedtime shower and I just relax in there and I think in there and I just take away all the like craziness of the day and frustrations and tiredness it just all like just comes off and I take a super duper hot shower so I love to smell like an amazing scent with the steam just to like calm me down so I wanted to pick up a nice shower gel so I went to the aromatherapy line and I picked up the sleep one and I have tried this before the lotion and the body wash but in the lavender vanilla and it's a it's a, an amazing scent but it could be a little bit strong and it ended up bothering my husband so even though I still used up the whole body wash I had to stop using the lotion so when I saw that they have lavender van, ca, lavender chamomile I was like maybe this scent is a little bit more mild so I went and I bought it and I bought um, the cream because before I used I had the lotion but I like my 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 body creams to be like on the thicker side so I ended up buying the body cream and the scent is way is is more mild than the lavender vanilla but it's still rather strong and it's so funny because i am so sensitive to scents like i don't even wear perfumes like that and if i do it has to be something really mild and my skin irritates and everything and even though this has like a rather strong scent it doesn't irritate me at all like it doesn't bother me one bit whatsoever which is strange because I do get irritated but I absolutely love this scent and I feel so amazing when I'm showering with it and I was so happy because like four days have passed and I was using this and my husband never said anything about it bothering him you know it bothers him he ends up telling me like on Sunday a couple days ago that it's too perfumey that it's too strong that it bothers him etc etc and I'm like well he's gonna have to get over it because I really enjoy this stuff so what I can do is like maybe I could skip on the cream or put less cream or something like that but I'm definitely not gonna stop using it because I absolutely love this stuff it just makes me feel amazing so he's gonna have to get over it. okay so that's all I got in bed and bath and body works I keep wanting to say bed bath and beyond I'm going to show you guys three brushes that I picked up from Morphe um, these are them right here and I have not used them and I've been dying to use them so the first one there's a couple more brushes that I want but they were sold out of course so I just have these three for now and the first one I have here is this Morphe E27 brush and this is just I picked up to have like a dupe to my um, Sigma F40 or is it the E40 I think it's the E40 
Um, anyway, this is just what I would use in my crease all the time for my transition color and to blend colors. It's like exactly the same as the Sigma one, just way cheaper. And this is from the Elite collection from Morphe. I love the Elite collection because they're so soft and I just love the colors of the hairs on, on the brush. The little mixture that it has, I just absolutely love it. So yeah, this is the E27 to use in your crease and to blend on these walls. Um, then I have this brush and this is the E3 also from the Elite collection which is why it has the E in front of it and this I'm going to be using as my to apply my powder I love tapered brushes I love this tapered shape the short bristles then getting longer this brush is so freaking soft it's unbelievable like I cannot wait to just powder my face up with this bad boy because it is just amazing it reminds me a lot of another Morphe brush that I had that I use for blush and it's just perfect I love that brush and I love how long these brushes are I just feel so fancy using them like they're so inexpensive and the quality is so good I just can't get enough of them and then the last one I have here is the E45 brush and this is what this one looks like also from the Elite collection so I initially wanted this one to contour my nose then when I received it I felt like it was too big to contour um, but I haven't tried it out so I think it still might work but then after I was looking at it and thinking I was like wait a minute this could be an amazing brush to draw my contour lines when I want to use a cream product so I can just get into the hollows of the cheek really easily and it fits really perfect because this is a contour brush um, so it could work for that like if I don't like it for my nose it could definitely work for that and then I also started thinking that it could be perfect to apply my um, color correctors under my eye so I don't have to do it with my fingers so I can definitely try it out for there so I'm just gonna give this a try and see what I like it the most for and if I like it for all of them I'll just get myself another one and have some extra ones on hand so those are the three brushes I got from Morphe I'm so excited to use them and now let's jump into Macy's I made two orders Oh, well, I ordered two products from Macy's, and the first one is this Inglot, um eyeliner gel. I wanted to go back to eyeliner gel to do my, my wing liner because I have stopped using it for a long time. I've been using, like, you know, the Steel Stay All Day liquid eyeliner. Let me open this thing up because I haven't even opened it, so I don't even know how it looks. Okay, so this is the little case that it comes in. It's a little circle, and it's plastic. And then it has this little cover here and it is just jet black so this is number 77 um, Inglot liner I've heard good things about this liner um, so I'm excited to give it a try but I need to get myself a good eyeliner brush before I start you know getting into this so yeah I picked up that this from Macy's um, I think it was like $14 and I also picked up one more thing and I just can't find it right now where are you okay so I found it so I ordered the new Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer in the color ebony um, I've only ever used her products on my eyebrows so I can't compare it to anything else um, I'm a big user of the brow Wiz. Um, but then when I saw that she was coming out with this new one and it had like a fatter tip I'm all about getting your eyebrows done super fast because I'm not about that let me spend 30 minutes doing my eyebrows life so I was interested in picking it up and this is what the tip looks like it's angled and it's way fatter than the little tip that the brow wiz has and also what I really loved about it when I opened it up is the spoolie is so much fatter than the brow wiz so since I have thick eyebrows it brushes my brows really nicely and faster because it's not so thin um, I really loved using this I felt like being that it had like a fatter tip it was gonna make my brows look less natural but actually it doesn't it, they look just as natural maybe even more so I would say um, and it's so easy to just get into the to make that little um, square shape being that it has that nice angled tip and to get into your arch and I just love it like I really really love this thing it doesn't make your brows look you know more done up like I thought it was gonna look I think it's amazing this costs $23 and the brow wiz costs 21 so it's a little bit more expensive but I think this has you know a little bit more product in it 
I don't have my bra always on me now, so I don't know. But this has 0.007 ounces. But since it is fatter, I'm going to assume that it has more products in it. So that's why it's more expensive. So yeah, that's what I picked up from Macy's. Okay, so from Sephora, I picked up a couple of Bosha products. So I'm just going to show you that stuff first. So I wanted, I like to alternate between my um, like facial cleansers. I love to use the Philosophy Makeup Remover. That's just like my go-to, especially on days that I wear a lot of makeup. But I also like to have another one for days that I don't wear makeup. And, you know, just to have two cleansers and alternate between the two. So I picked up um, the Bosha Purifying, Purifying, Purifying Cleansing Gel. And this is the box that it comes in. I have not used this yet. Um, but I'm very excited to use it. And this is the packaging of it. It looks really nice and just, you know, simple. And it has a pump, which I appreciate. I love anything with a pump. And then the smell, it's pretty, you know, it doesn't have any crazy smell to it. It has a scent, but nothing too crazy. I hope it doesn't irritate my skin. We shall see. Um, anyway, this is a gel formula. And um, I've never been, like, really a fan of gel formulas because I like my stuff to, like, lather up. Um, but I was using the, the Fresh Soy Cleanser, which is also gel. And at first when I was using it, it felt kind of slimy and slippery. And I was like, okay, this is kind of strange. But I really got into it and I really enjoyed it. And I like how my, you know, it just felt nice and refreshing to use. And that one smelled like cucumber. So I read about the Bosha one and it was pretty similar. So I decided to go with Bosha just because I like to get skincare products from the same line and I was already buying other stuff from them so I went with the Bosha one hopefully it's just as good as the soy one the, I mean the fresh one so then I also picked up the Bosha makeup breakup cool cleansing oil and if you've seen in other videos of mine I use the Clinique oil but I wanted to get something new because I just get bored sometimes of using the same stuff even though that's a great um, remover I will probably purchase that again in the future but i wanted to try this one it looked intriguing to me and again it's called the makeup breakup cool cleansing oil and it's an effectively gentle way to deep cleanse this refreshing cleansing oil dissolves impurities and makeup without leaving any oily residue so just like the other oil i have you have to just massage this on your face with dry hands and it's going to take off your makeup and then you go ahead and do your whole process so hopefully this works really good as well um the prices on these things i really don't remember so i'll just link everything down below um i think they were in like the 30 dollars ranges and then the last thing i picked up from bosha is this um charcoal pore putting treatment and this is the box that it comes in and this is relatively new i think um oh crap i just broke the box Okay, so this is the packaging. It looks so pretty. It comes in this glass um, little container here. And let's see what it looks like inside. I haven't even opened it. And it's just a mix of white and black. It looks so pretty. I don't even want to touch it in there. And then it comes with this little thing here for you to scoop it up and like apply it to your face, which I probably won't be using because I never use that stuff. I don't have time for that. I like to just use my hands. So... Let's see what this claims to do. I really wanted an, another mask because I do use the, um, I have a video on it, um, the Aztec clay mask thing. And I really like how it works. It definitely intensely cleans, but you have to mix that up on your own with like apple cider vinegar or water, etc. So it can become a little bit annoying when you're trying to do things in a rush or save more time. So I wanted to have a mask that's already done for me. And, you know, I'll just alternate between the two. So this one, um, it's a two-part pore putting powdered, powered, okay, let me start over. Two-part pore putting powered by black and white charcoal. The powerful pair work together to minimize the appearance of pores while balancing skin for ideal results. To use, use the spatula provided on your fingers, scoop onto the face, then blend together to distribute thin, opaque, gray layer all over or targeted areas as needed. Leave on for 15 to 20 minutes, then rinse clean with warm water. 
rinse the spatula after every use and that's pretty much it so I am excited to use this I've read really good reviews about it um, apparently it doesn't like leave your skin feeling dry which charcoal masks can do to certain skin types so hopefully this works wonders because I'm really excited to use it oh and it has it has like a charcoaly type of smell um, so yeah I'm really excited to try this out I hope I really enjoy it because I'm all about skincare now because you know your makeup only looks its best when your skin looks its best as well so moving along I picked up this Kat Von D lock and load makeup setting spray I needed a new setting spray and I'm all about the Urban Decay one but I've repurchased that over and over again so I wanted to give this one a try because I've heard good things about it um, and I love the packaging it's so sleek it's black with this nice floral silver um art on it and it's nice and thin it's way thinner than the urban decay one i'm really feeling this packaging i'm just all about the black packaging and you know it has its little spray here it has like a cucumber smell i'm really into cucumber smells cucumber smells they could be a little off-putting in the beginning but then it just feels so refreshing like i'm really enjoying it so i'm really excited to use this i have not used it yet so i don't know how well it works but i have also read really good reviews on it so i'm excited about that um next thing i picked up from sephora is the poor professional matte rescue and i never tried the poor the original um professional that everyone has raved about and loves and it's like their go-to and their holy grail yada 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 but when I saw that they have this one now that's mattifying, I was like, um, hello, I have, okay, I can't open this thing. I was like, I have to try that because, you know, I use the Makeup Forever Skin Equalizer mattifying one and, you know, that thing and me are like enemies and frenemies, I don't know what we are. Wow, this thing is huge. Okay, so this is really big. I hadn't, I hadn't opened it. This has, um... 1.60 floor ounces but like this is like the biggest primer i've ever had in my life um it did cost like i don't know 30 something dollars i think i'm not i'm not 100 like sure but anyway the packaging is so freaking cute it has this little lady on it um and it says the professional matte rescue um it's mattifying a pore blur and invisible finish so i'm excited because this is supposed to keep me matte and it's going to blur my pores at the same time so I don't have to use two different primers. So I'm very excited to try this out. Hopefully it's just as amazing as the original. Um, oh, it has like a scent. Let me see. Okay, it feels nice and silicone-y and smooth and it does have a scent to it. But it smells really nice. I'm really, really excited to use this. Because I used my Makeup Forever one this morning. And that thing happens again where, for some reason, when I'm putting it onto my face, I get these, like, white residue things. I don't know where the heck that's coming from. It's so annoying. So, the consistency. Oh, this definitely matte. Like, it feels really matte and looks matte here on my hands. So, very excited to try this out. Okay, so I also picked up this Becca um, Foundation. Their Ultimate Coverage complexion cream and I had previously bought this a long time ago and I ended up returning it having issues with like the color match and I rebought it and oh my god guys this freaking foundation is so bomb like it's freaking full coverage so if you don't like full coverage don't even think about it because it's not going to be for you but it's definitely a full coverage foundation I just feel like this gives you like a whole new face um it's really really pretty and I love how you know the finish is on my face it lasts a really long time it is thick so when I apply it I do one side and then apply the other side so it's not just sitting there um, and it blends out really nicely it doesn't feel super heavy though even though it's a really full coverage foundation and it doesn't look cakey at all like I really really love this this is an amazing amazing full coverage foundation I think it's my best full coverage foundation that I have so I am definitely enjoying this. I've already tried it out. Um, I've already worn it like three times. And I freaking love how I look when I wear it. It's just so glam. It's it's definitely not a foundation I recommend for everyday use. Absolutely not. This is something you want to use like on weekends. For a party, event, something like that. Definitely not every day. So, But it's really, really awesome. If you love full coverage. I recommend it. 
Another foundation that I have here is the Lancome Tate Idol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. Now, I did a review on this foundation and I ended up returning it, not because I didn't like the foundation, but because I had a terrible time matching myself. Now, I ended up getting the stick to this foundation. And then I had the same issue with the whole matching thing. So I ended up sending someone to get me a different color in the stick. And they ended up getting me the color that I wanted, but in the liquid. So I was like, you know what? Maybe it's just meant to be for me to have the liquid. And I'm wearing this foundation today and the color match to the T. I don't know why I had such a terrible time matching myself, but I did. And finally, I got the right color, and that color is 410 Bisque W. So if you were watching my videos, and you're interested in this foundation, and we're the same complexion, I am not 420 Bisque N, which is the ones that I previously bought in both of these things. I am 410 Bisque W. It's just that this the foundation looked light when I would apply it, like, like just the little dots, but when I blend it in, it blends in amazing. As you can see, it matches me perfect. So, and the coverage is definitely medium to full. I always preferred the coverage on the liquid as opposed to the stick one, but I just like the stick because I've never used a stick foundation before, and I felt like it was just convenient, easy to apply. You don't have to use your fingers or a brush. You just dab it on your face and you're good to go. And it's also travel friendly. It's like just having a lipstick in your bag. But definitely, I always felt like the liquid had more co better coverage than the stick did. So I'm definitely happy that I, you know, got stuck with the liquid one. So again, 410 Bisque W. And let me just show you guys quickly what it looks like. This is the bottle. It looks nice and fancy. It's a glass. And it's just a really good foundation. Medium to full coverage. Um, it lasts a very long time. It blends really nicely. Definitely, I recommend this foundation. And yeah, guys, I think that's it. So... Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. Maybe you want to pick up a couple of these things. And I will definitely keep you guys updated on the things that I haven't tried. Just to let you know if I liked it, if it worked, um, if it's worth the money, etc. like that. So again, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye guys.